Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to be creating a Take Hinter list box widget and using it to create a little flashcard game to study our states and capitals. Now, obviously, this is just an example and nobody really cares about states and capitals, but I think it's a good way to sort of give an interactive approach to learning the list box widget. So I'm just going to start off here with our Tkinter skeleton. And to create this program, what we need is a dictionary of states and capitals. So every state is mapped to its respective capital. We need to create a list box with the states. And we want to have a button that whenever we click the state that we want, we click the button and it gives us the correct capital matching from the state. And we're going to have an entry to actually display the answer to. And our button's going to write the answer to the entry. So the first step is going to be to create the dictionary. Now, I just copied this online. Um, you don't really need to see me sit here and type out 50 states and capitals. So once we have our dictionary, we're going to create our list box. And we're going to use the list box widget. And this widget only takes one variable. And that's going to be our master root variable. To actually add items to the list box, we're going to use a for loop to iterate through and actually add the entries from the states and capitals dictionary to the list box. So we're going to say for x and y in enumerate states and capitals dictionary, we want to use the insert method to add at the x index, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 50, add the y element of the dictionary, which is the key. So when we actually call this, we're going to have all the keys from that dictionary iterated through and inserted into our list box widget. The next step is going to be to create the button. Now we're going to say button widget. The first argument is root. And the text on the button is going to be, let's just call it flash and the command is going to be a function which actually fetches the state and writes to the entry. We're going to use the pack method on that widget and for our entry for the capital which is the answer well first we're going to label it to actually give us a little bit of organization so we're going to have a label where the text is answer and pack that and for the actual entry we're going to use the entry widget let's say the width is 20, 20 characters long and pack that. Now when we run this, we, we didn't define flash, the function for the button. So let's come up here and so let's actually create our flash function. So this function needs three steps. First, we want to delete the previous entry in the widget. So we don't want to sit there and continuously add data to the widget. We want to actually clear it every time we press the button to get the flash card. The next step is going to be to get the state from the list box. So whatever we select, we want to get that state and then insert the answer into the entry widget. So the first step is to call the delete method on the entry. So that's going to be entry1.delete. We want to go from the zeroth index all the way to the end. To actually get the state, we're going to say listbox.get. And when we say anchor, we're simply saying the value that the mouse is on at that given time. Now we actually want to insert the matching value from the key value pair into the entry. So we're going to say entry1.insert at the zeroth index the states and capitals value from the state. Now you can see that whenever we click on a state and we hit flash, it's actually going through that dictionary and finding the correct value in the key value pair that matches the state. So let's say Michigan, once we click flash, it's actually looking into that dictionary and finding the matching capital. Now this is just a quick little flashcard game. You can make these flashcards whatever you want. I think states and capitals is easy because I think everyone knows how they work. Thanks everyone for watching and see you next time.